Hey there, are you looking for a really rugged square drop camper you can take anywhere? Here are three reviews. The Escapod Topo 2 Camper is constructed on a heavy duty aluminum frame and insulated with closed cell foam, making it both durable and well insulated. One of the standout features of the Topo 2 is its off-road capabilities. The trailer includes a Timberin axleless suspension system, 33-inch BF Goodridge all-terrain tires, and a 15-inch ground clearance, making it capable of handling even the most rugged and uneven terrain. The camper also includes a Rhino raft rack roof rack and an exterior cargo box, providing ample storage space for all your gear. This is a top-of-the-line teardrop and it'll last you a long time being made of fiberglass. Better yet, it's an entire capsule sitting on top of the frame. It's also set up with almost any option you could want and at 1400 pounds can be towed by most anything. Add the distinctive styling and it's a great choice. Other teardrop options are the Dewdrop, the Taxa Cricket, and Timberleaf campers, all of which I've reviewed. So check out my Axle Camp YouTube channel and learn more about getting way off the grid in a small camper. Some similar campers are the Oregon Frontier, the Oregon Trailer Alpha Dewdrop, the Boreas XT, and more Oregon trailers. The Axle Camp Arrow is a rugged square drop that's light enough at 1,550 pounds to be towed by almost anything. It will fit in your garage. It has a form PVC roof that sits on an ice and water shield so that there are no seams to seal, no leaks. It has a cabin that's a whole 12 feet long, so you could call it a long drop. At the rear is the bedroom with a queen size memory foam mattress. You can sit back in bed and watch the sun go down out the rear window. You can opt for a bunk that provides a child's bed. Other options include a large roof rack and heating and cooling systems. The galley kitchen would normally be at the rear of a square top. In the arrow, it moves up to the passenger side front and provides you with everything you'll need to cook like a chef. Stove, fridge, sink with 14 gallon water tank and even a microwave. Powering all this is a 600 watt hour solar generator. On the driver's side front is a large hatch that opens up doing two things. It gives you access to over 30 cubic feet of storage. It also lets you set up a privacy curtain so that you can use the available hot water shower to clean off after a long day of fun. Built on a square tube, heavy duty, powder coated frame, it rides on Toyo light truck tires. The Arrow has 11.5 inches of ground clearance, which is what a Jeep has and is more than most trucks. The cabin's exterior is epoxy coated. It comes with a two year warranty. As you've surely guessed, I build this camper, but some other campers to look at in this range are the Taxa Mantis, the Intec Flyer, and the Boreas XT. So check out my Axle Camp YouTube channel to see those reviews. Plus, I've got videos on how to get your small camper way off the roads and into nature. Some other similar campers. This is the Intec Flyer, which is a toy hauler plus a camper. This is the Boreas XT, a very rugged square drop camper. And this is the Taxa Mantis, a large camper with a pop-up roof. Boreas XT Camper The Boreas XT is a no-holds-barred, rugged, square-drop camper. It's not cheap, but it comes equipped with about everything you'd need to go way off-road and stay there for a while. With no-nonsense styling and an axle-less suspension, Along with off-road tires and wheels, it means business. It's low, too, at 80.5 inches, so it won't slow you down and you can tuck it away in your garage. The warranty is lifetime, 
so it's no shirker either. Designed to have stuff bolted on, you can have rooftop tents, screen rooms, and an awning. The galley is large and rugged, and there is more storage up front. It's built of composite fiberglass, so the cabin will last as long as the heavy-duty frame and suspension. That suspension gives you a crazy 90, 19 inches of ground clearance, which is on par with your most tricked-out off-road vehicle. So, if you're in Colorado, check this beast of a square drop out, or find them at dealerships. Other campers in this ultra-rugged class include the Escapod, the Axle Camp Arrow, which I build, the Taxa Cricket, and some of the Oregon trailers. Check out my YouTube channel at Axle Camp for more reviews and useful information on getting off-grid in a small camper. This is an Oregon trailer. This is the Taxa Cricket. This is an Escapod. And this is the Axle Camp Arrow, which I built. Axle Camp Dart. The Axle Camp Dart is the smallest of the campers I build. At $11,000, it provides you with a cabin with a queen memory foam mattress, a power system that includes shore power and is solar ready. Underneath, there's a heavy duty powder coated frame and it rides on light truck tires. Weighing 1,450 pounds, it can be towed by almost anything and is insulated to at least R7.5. Out back is a gallery that includes a cooler and a five gallon portable water tank. But the best thing about this camper is the roof. Roof leaks are the death of most campers. Fiberglass and aluminum campers are mostly immune to this, but if there's a seam, as there are in many campers, water can get in. That water can cause almost anything to delaminate, and if water is allowed to freeze, it'll happen much faster. Axle Camp campers first have the top of the body covered with ice and water shield, then a molded PVC tray fits down over everything. There is no roofline seal. The dart fits in a standard garage and comes with a two-year warranty. Other square drops you'll want to check out are the TC Teardrop, Intech Flyer, the Taxa Cricket, all of which I've done reviews for. Find it at axlecamp.com or check out my YouTube channel at axlecamp. Other similar campers. This is the Intech Flyer, a toy hauler and camper. This is the TC Teardrop, a classic teardrop.